Hi guys, this is Connie, back for more Connie Reads Proverbs. We're going to do chapter 3 this morning. I keep wanting to potentially read ahead, but a part of me goes, it's supposed to be one for every day, so maybe I should record them every day. But yeah, I might have to read them ahead and then read them on the day I publish them. Personal. Very random issues. So, without further ado, here's... Chapter three, one of my favorites, actually, because it's got a couple of awesome life verses in my opinion. Here we go. Using wisdom. My son, do not forget my teachings and keep my commands in mind because they will bring you long life, good years, and peace. Do not let mercy and truth leave you. Fasten them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will find favor and much success in the sight of God and humanity. Trust the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths smooth. Do not consider yourself wise. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. Then your body will be healed, and your bones will have nourishment. Honor the Lord with your wealth, and with the first and best part of all your income. Then your barns will be full, and your vats will overflow with fresh wine. Do not reject the discipline of the Lord, my son, and do not resent his warning. Because the Lord warns the one he loves, even as a father warns a son with whom he is pleased. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who obtains understanding. The profit gained from wisdom is greater than the profit gained from silver. Its yield is better than fine gold. Wisdom is more precious than jewels, and all your desires cannot equal it. Long life is in wisdom's right hand. In wisdom's left hand are riches and honor. Wisdom's ways are pleasant ways, and all its paths lead to peace. Wisdom is a tree of life for those who take firm hold of it. Those who cling to it are blessed. By wisdom the Lord laid the foundation of the earth. By understanding he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep waters were divided, and the skies dropped dew. My son, do not lose sight of these things. Use priceless wisdom and foresight. Then they will mean life for you, and they will grace your neck. Then you will go safely on your way. And you will not hurt your foot. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. As you lie there, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or of the destruction of wicked people when it comes. The Lord will be your confidence. He will keep your foot from getting caught. Do not hold back anything good from those who are entitled to it, when you have the power to do so. When you have the good thing with you, do not tell your neighbor, go away, come back tomorrow, I'll give you something then. Do not plan to do something wrong to your neighbor while he is sitting there with you and suspecting nothing. Do not quarrel with the person for no reason, if he has not harmed you. Do not envy a violent person. Do not choose any of his ways. The devious person is disgusting to the Lord. The Lord's intimate advice is with decent people. The Lord curses the house of wicked people, but he blesses the home of righteous people. When he mocks the mockers, he is gracious to humble people. Wise people will inherit honor, but fools will bear disgrace couple of things I had apparently circled before that I hadn't paid attention to until now. Wow. So I'm curious to know what you think of that. Feel free to leave non-trolly comments and I will see you for the next chapter. Be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. Bye.